you piss. You piss. You piss. You like she she stands in the background of fight so that way like all the actions the bottom right corner and she's got her titties ah, hanging out the rest of the screen. Funny, so though. It's like a it's, it's like a medieval Twitch streamer. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, since that was a blow, I guess I'll go head to the bar. Roll a d20. Oh, oh no. man. Oh, something always happens. Was it, wait, wasn't she at the bar already? No, no I was at the underground. Was, she went back to Death Knight, remember, and basically got told to fuck off. Oh, well, I mean, you don't have any money. Oh, I, I think, got 20. So. Alright, you find five gold on the ground. Oh, sweet. I guess I'm However, up. all the markings on it are off, so it might not be accepted in businesses. Oh, it's like finding a really old, rusty penny. I, I'll pick it up and look at it. Can't determine what country made this, or where it came from, because it's it literally just looks like gold in a coin with no markings. Huh. They've all been rubbed off. Huh, oh, that's odd. And then you make your way to the bar. Nothing unusual happens. Okay. And you would bump into Aiden and uh, Stephanie and Lord. Dude, Aiden, you got a posse going on, I just realized. Uh, yeah, yeah, man! Yeah. This, was, this was the end goal! This was the end goal! <laughs> Dude, make what? a D and D harem. <laughs> I look, well, I, I look, I look at the three of them. I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? Wait, so, wait, so, wait, am I here? Yeah, you. Before you go approach the bar, you run to Magnolia. Oh, okay. Wait, you're so like I, twenty I, feet okay. from the bar, Aiden. Okay, okay, I, I get it. I, I was about to ask who the third was. I forgot the orc. We should probably get a name for the orc. I feel like it's fucked up to call her prisoner everywhere. Maybe but, they're gonna get bad implications. Why is there so many of you all together? I mean, I'm just the plus one. So... <laughs> what's, that, what's that imply? I am a, your plus one. Wherever you go, I'm your plus one. What oh, you never mean? mind. Who is you, saying out this, of character, by the way? Out of character, you cut out at the end, and I, I, you, you cut out nearly at the end there, and I didn't know what your answer that was. Never mind, no, that makes sense. That, that's actually a person for... Per, I can't speak. Sorry, I'll go fuck who, myself. Who is saying that's this, a by perfectly the way? reasonable reaction? I to, uh, Stephanie said that. Okay, the who, only other one who could talk. The other, how many times have I got drunk? I thought you. I thought. Oh, okay, I thought there was four. I thought there was three people with him. No, it's the three of them: Aiden, the okay. orc, and Stephanie. Okay. Also, okay. the orc has a name. No one just asked her. Well, well how is she supposed speak? to guess the name? She, she can't can write speak. things down. I thought she oh, couldn't write. Okay. No, I never she, said that. I said she can't write in common. She oh, can God. write in Orcish. You would oh. need someone to translate it. Oh, so we would still need asterisks to even find out her name. Yeah, she she just she knows very little common. Okay. Uh, or like go to a library. Start learning. <laughs> So, where do you speak sure there's orc like a dictionary or a thesaurus or something? Orc to common. Okay. What <laughs> your three easy steps? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, like a Rosetta Stone, but in oh. D. And by the way, is this Leon in the bar too? Because I should probably go apologize because I was gonna help her murder some people, but then we she's got kind of in. She's been gone for a good bit. You did sleep for eight hours. That's a long time, though. All right. <laughs> she, oh, no, I figured she was just back for the night then. Yeah, and I was definitely out for a while. I didn't think she was still waiting. I figured I missed the appointment. I still had yeah, my question to ask point. him. Ask it. Okay, ask it okay. away. Say, shut the fuck up and ask a question. I'm not a rude fucker. That's why. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so, where the hell did you end up? Silver. What? What's up? Silver was a question. I said, where the hell did you end up? Uh, we ended up at a fight, like, ring. Um, you ended up in my pants. That's all I need to know. Well, yeah, that definitely happened. 
Uh, I don't need you to tell me that happened, because, uh, judging by the looks on y'all faces, it always happens. Is that a race comment? What the fuck is that? Who fucking greets someone with a statement like that? I just sat down. Uh, because you two are always doing it. Wow. What does this implicate? First of all, I, me, okay, me, I understand. Her? Pretty normal. Actually, no, never mind. Actually, yeah, that, never that, mind. You, you, uh, I actually had to, re to reevaluate how we met, so somewhat you, accurate. You, Fair you enough. realize I saw how you two met with her having you sit on her lap. No, it was the other way around. You no, know, she ain't laughing. <laughs> was she on mine or was I on her? Because she said you, that I was on you her. You were on her lap. So she, so she, when she first met, she sat on his lap to tease him. Oh, she did? I thought it was the other way around. They pulled up a seat, and she got up from her seat and sat on his lap. Oh, okay then. Trickery of the mind. I misjudge. My brain. Anyway, what's it to you? Why, why are you suggesting something like that? Like, I give a shit about what the hell you guys do. Obviously, you I mean, obviously, do. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> like, I mean, man, you guys are all fucking always so horny. <laughs> well, you are so horny. You flaunt you're, you're it. You're like, your dirty tabaxi faces that you've been having premarital sex. Like, <laughs> oh, good to you too, comrade. <laughs> Wait, wow. where the fuck was that going? Are you serious? What? <laughs> hey, comrade. You passed the vodka. <laughs> <laughs> where was he going with that? I was so lost. <laughs> You know what's fucking weird? You know, you know what's, I don't know what it is, Wyatt, but you sound exactly like fucking Krauser from our Resident Evil 4 right there. Have you played that game? <laughs> I'm gonna get a tangent, but you said, like, for a second, I, I heard that, and I was like, I said, like, what the fuck does that sound like? And oh I just flashed my Resident Evil 4. Comrade. You usually don't sound like him, but then that line delivery was like, fucking exactly. Uh, no. I don't like, I don't yeah, like what I Stephanie's assuming here. I'm assuming you want his dick. That's no, all I'm assuming. No, I First don't. Of all, I don't want him. First of all, that is very rude of you to say. Second of all, you are just jealous. Why? Why would the I? One, be... this has nothing to do with jealousy. She's ask. She usually always hangs around. She always asks what you're doing. Oh, no, no. I'm always not calling... I'm not, I'm not calling Stephanie jealous. I'm calling Matt jealous. Oh. I said Matt. That was very rude of her to say. <laughs> oh, I thought you were talking about Stephanie. <laughs> no, no, we're, we're cool, Stephanie. She just was like, you're a souvenir to him. That's fucked. Oh, my God. Jesus. No, but anyway, I, I think you want his dick. That's why I'm just going to leave no. that right there. No, I don't want his dick. Why are you concerned what hole it goes in? I never said anything like that. I just assumed you were doing it. I <laughs> mean, assuming and constantly thinking about it means you're obviously, like, concerned or hyperly focused on it. No. Which usually means you want it. No. She's got you there. <laughs> no! No, fuck off, fuck off. <laughs> I mean, I you might want, you might deny it, but subconsciously, I guarantee you're thinking about doing it with him right now. I'll subconsciously fu fucking punch you in the face for it. Before you Bring do that, hand. I'll cut off your hand. And I will dick smack you for that. <laughs> for one, Natasha, I think you forget Stephanie's a bounty hunter. Just because she's a state She hangs around with a buff Leon. What do you mean? Oh, anyone can hang around like, her, Leon. Are you kidding me? Her, you tried to. Her, her, <laughs> her companion is a female Leon of tall minotaur and a fudging jack cyclops. Those are the three people you met when you first met him. Uh, I ain't gonna... like unarmed right now, so you can't really cast her. Anything, I ain't gonna. So. I ain't gonna take shit got... from this. I I am going ahead. You go ahead then. I mean, there's more than one ways to go ahead if you don't. 
I I leave oh I God. leave the three of you alone. I mean, it's from what I can tell, we're all going to the same place. So. Yeah. Uh, no, I am not going with you guys. Where are you going then? I'm gonna fucking run ahead. That's what I'm fucking doing. <laughs> Whoa! Run ahead then. Go. Go. Yeah, ahead. Go. <laughs> I literally go and fucking do that. I go fucking run ahead of them. As you do that, Asterix trips you. What the <laughs> fuck would she trip me? Because she's been watching this whole thing play out. Oh, why did you do that to me? I thought it would be funny. Oh, my goodness. Funny. And here I was concerned about you. <laughs> Making uh, jokes. I mean... I told you if I I died, I would just come back in like a couple days. You said a week. Give or take like five days. That's still a long ass time, man. I mean, it's better than dying permanently. True. And then but that leaves us stranded. I mean, what do you mean? Are you all trapped? Also, are you saying you're all incapable of fear? Where we you've seen us, you've seen how we are. We are very incapable a group. I was asking if you view yourselves as incapable. Well, yeah, I don't view view us as incapable, but I know Aiden is very dependent. Hey, uh don't it don't act like we're even on the same level, please. <laughs> Hey, don't, please don't. Don't don't speak about me. <laughs> like 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 seriously. Like I I could use charisma to have someone break you over their knee. Please don't make me need to. <laughs> yeah. Says so, so the guy who was practically freaking out when she was impaled. I mean, oh, was it, was so, it you? I mean, I was bleeding on both of you and kind of clapping up. If you didn't show any concern to me. Oh, I was concerned, but Asterix, Asterix is out here bleeding to death, and it's like, oh, fuck you guys, this shit, this ain't shit, man. Like, come on, <laughs> let's work this shit off. Come on, you're good, you're good. Stalactite's fine. <laughs> builds character. Stalactite's build character. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everyone gets one when they're twenty. Don't worry about it. Straight through the chest. <laughs> This is, this is, I'm just gonna put out a movie. You changing body, and we're just gonna, we just gonna teach you there. <laughs> well then, so what brings us all four of you? Awesome, now you're going like, can you get off the floor? You're kind of looking like a vagrant. Ugh, I get up. I wouldn't be on the floor if you hadn't tripped me. I mean, if you looked where you were going, you would have seen me. So, that's on you for not paying attention. I was too busy arguing with these two over here. I mean, they made valid points. I don't need that kind of shit from you. I mean, you're the only one that's like super concerned about whether the cat has sex or not. Oh. More so <laughs> than the two girls he's actually had sex with. I'm concerned for myself because he has he has favors over my head. That's all I'm concerned about. I mean, and how did he get those favors? I, I think you. I you know for what? One favor. I'm gonna take a sip. I need to be completely intoxicated to continue this conversation. And I'm going to fucking leave this group alone. I am going to the end. Why would you run all the way to the hotel to run like all the way to the other side of the city and intoxicate? At this point, since she's completely fine, I am just gonna go straight to bed. I mean, she's wounded, but... Oh, she's... I tell, like, she's still bleeding, and Natasha's like, she's... She acts completely it. fine. If A wounded person would not be drinking that much. She's an Eldarin barbarian, and a barbarian in general, Natasha. <laughs> a raging alcoholic. Like the, Give me one sec. A raging ever. alcoholic, yeah, that, that, that's so beautiful for when you're bleeding out. That, that's how you... Oh my it's God. actually what you did in old times. You drank the pain away. Uh, then she needs That's to. Where... She needs to uh, go lay in bed and drink. 
That's the worst. You do not lay in bed and drink anything. You'll That's choke. That's how you drown. Yeah. yeah, you can drown yourself. You literally will waterboard yourself. <laughs> I'm fucking stupid. Leave me alone. Boy, and, and all those movies where they give them something, they're unconscious, they tilt their head forward. Alright, alright, alright. <laughs> I'm fucking stupid. Do you actually go to the end? Yes, I'll go to the fucking end. Okay. Ian's still going, right? Okay, I'll take his silence as a yes. <laughs> uh, Magdalena, roll a d20 with disadvantage. Oh, and this again. Is it your character? Oh, yeah. Uh, to be fair, if I get robbed, I have nothing. Oh, piss. Four. Actually, what do you have? Huh? What do you have on you? I don't have anything. All I had was my staff. Besides and that. Huh? You have nothing else? I didn't have anything else. Freaking the the Death Knight took my bag, so I didn't have anything. And the only thing I carried on me was my staff. So How I, are you gonna stay in a hotel room? Huh? How are you gonna go to the hotel if you have no money? Oh, I was just gonna wait. For uh, turtle to show up. Does he? Does he reserve uh, the room? Tasha, you get knocked out <laughs> and dragged away. Oh, that's lovely. Thank you very much. <laughs> How much more <laughs> shit can I get into? All right. She wakes up in an old bathtub with stitches all over her back. Ah, <laughs> oh, you piss. <laughs> no, no, I'm just oh. joking. She's not. Don't, gonna be an organ don't, donor. Nah, don't bring it up. You fucking give him ideas. I already know I want to do this. <laughs> Alright, so Turtle, you watch Magnolia get kidnapped. Because she is like 35 feet from um, the end. You hear what appears to be a little struggle. And then you just see him knock her out and carry her off in the shadows. Oh, that's not good. I better see if she's okay. I better tell them. <laughs> so I try my best to like, keep like, up. The way he said it! The way he said it! I'm so uncaring! I'm so sorry! It's like the fact he's like, I was tight, and so I wasn't paying attention all he goes. I better see if she's okay. Yes, I better see if she's be if kidnapping if she's okay. Like, dude, babe, I wrote better reactions in my fan fiction about being kidnapped than you gave right now. That you is so fan bad. fiction. Yes. Oh, that's gay. <laughs> I don't need your opinion. <laughs> that's too bad. I give it. Give your opinion. I don't care. Terrible oh beach one. Her caster was kidnapped. You bastard! Oh, magnolia has been kidnapped. God damn it, dude! The fact that he he said he said he the fact that uh. Oh wait, I didn't can go said. back and watch. Right. The way right, that um, <laughs> and you hear a struggle. Uh, you can hear a struggle visibly in the distance. You don't really know what it's about. And you, 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 it's on the other side of the city, and there's no way. <laughs> Physically, with all your cat senses, it would be impossible. So how do I, that's how I know about the struggle, then. You can hear the echoes, since most of it's pretty quiet. Oh. <laughs> that's, not, that's not good. Oh, well, um, so, Turtle, you follow the kidnappers. And um, they go into um, a side entrance where two minotaurs block the path as they go in. Wait, am I seeing this? No, Turtle is. Okay. They're preventing you from going in. Oh, turtle. man, I feel like some sick danger here, man. <laughs> Alright. Um, 
Carl, what do you do? This is all you. I'm looking at my skills. <laughs> So while he's doing that, hey Aiden, what do you want to talk about with Asterix? Mm -hmm. you know? Like, so, uh, Asterix, I was hoping... Wait, actually, first of all, how you doing? How, first start off, how is all, like, you know, the whole you almost dying going? Probably not, probably. Okay, well, good to hear, good to hear. Um, so, out of curiosity, is there any chance you get us into, like, one of the premium bathhouses here? That's good. Would you mind doing so? What's that for me? Um, a warm bath. You can join us if you want. Yeah. I don't think you want blood in your water. I'm already covered in blood. That is true. Wow, I didn't realize how much blood I spent on you. Yeah, there was uh, a lot of blood. <laughs> Summarizing you like from your chest out covered in blood, like yeah, was all a lot of blood. A little bit, a little bit. <laughs> so do you, why don't you just go in the lake outside? Yeah, the lake's less warm, less comfy. Are you sure it's not to take your friend there on a date? Well, I mean a little bit that too, but. Uh, you can hold my axe. What? As long as you, if you can hold my axe for five seconds, I'll do it. Ah, am I allowed help? No. Ah. You know, I am incredibly weak. <laughs> Only like a 50 pound axe. Oh, man. Empty ties, and it weighs more than I ever could. Um, if you dropped off the tons part of that amount, that'd still be a lot. Again, <laughs> if you can hold my hack for just three seconds. Okay, all right, fine. I'll give it a try. Right, you're on a strength check with disadvantage. You barely make three seconds as you fall over from the way of the X. Ah! I just start bursting out laughing. But, uh, yeah. You can say. <laughs> I, I could probably use some help, yeah. Asterix picks up the axe of one arm. Okay. All right, follow me. All right, we'll follow you then. All right, Charlie, have you decided on what you're going to do? Yeah. Um, I'll roll perception on the side entrance, see if I can sneak my way in. Okay, roll perception. Let's see what I got. Uh, 11. As far as you can tell, there's no other entrance besides the very small entrance that they took Magnolia through that the two Minotaurs are currently blocking. You do see a sign, though, that says, um, indentured servants. Oh, that doesn't look good. <laughs> <laughs> right, I guess I'll try to try to convince them to let me in. All right, uh, I walk up to the two Minotaur guards and greet myself to them. What's the password? I do not know it. Then go away. Try. You couldn't have lied. <laughs> That'd be immoral. <laughs> we're in brick walls. Oh, <laughs> my on brick walls and prayer turtle. He doesn't go around. He just is like, okay, and then walks. 
<laughs> Alright, I guess I'll try to roll deception and see if I can, like, make up a password. Disadvantage. Um, and Aiden, Asterix, and you would be walking by seeing this scene. Like, hey, three. it's Turtle! It's that guy that nearly died! I got the three. <laughs> well, okay, what's your completely failed attempt at training? What's your fake password, Turtle? Alright then, um... Salami. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the password. Ah, <laughs> oh, Dread, I thought that was it for sure. It's alright, any hints you could offer. If you don't know the password, leave. Uh, but one of my friends was taken in there by some sort of shadowy figure. May I ask why? This is probably going to be sold into slavery. Oh my piss! What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> oh Does the my person God. getting kidnapped have a say in this? I mean, it's called the forced indentured servants for a reason. Oh my piss. <laughs> just say no to getting enslaved. Just, just don't do it. <laughs> okay, first getting getting enslaved to a uh, death knight was one thing, but forced into it is completely different. <laughs> All right, see you later. Cheryl. You seem like you know this hand on the asterisk says that she leads Aiden to the bows. <laughs> You know, we, we might, I, I don't, wait, what's going on? Wait, can I stop and be like, hey, what's going on, Turtle? No, Asterix keeps moving. That's fine, alright. She right. puts a hand behind your back, she's like, come on, let's go, like, keep moving. Don't mind, don't mind them, don't mind them. <laughs> like, you don't know him. <laughs> we never met yeah, him before. Like, eye, contact. eye contact. Oh my god! <laughs> I can't you guys said the same thing almost at the same time. I'm so fucked. Alright, so, um, we're gonna- I wanna see what Turtle's gonna do in this situation. Hey, I would say you'd get to the paths, and they let you in, and Asterix, Stephanie, and Orca in the bath would be naked. I'm so- <laughs> You would also oh. see all of Asterix tattoos, but she's got- What was that? You cut out there, see right? all- Oh, you would, um, see all of Asterix, um, uh, uh, tattoos all around her body. Oh, wait. I, should I ask about this? I, I don't, like... It's it's kind of the same conundrum of, like, sometimes women will be wearing... They'll have, like, a saying or the words on their t-shirt, and I'm almost afraid to try to read because I don't want to make it seem like I'm, like, staring at their titties. Okay, we'll get back to that. I want to see what... To <laughs> I'm so fucked. <laughs> Alright, I'll try to do acrobatics and like try to run past the guards as fast as I can. I'm trying to run past them? Oh my <laughs> god! You've got magic okay. and the best thing you're gonna do is- I'm gonna run real fast to hit him. I mean, I I'm gonna jump like, sprint past <laughs> Then you know, turtles are known for their speed. <laughs> oh my god, I'm about that! <laughs> Alright, uh... Right, roll acrobatics with disadvantage. <laughs> Oh, uh, wait, no, um, I haven't rolled yet. I'm so fucked. <laughs> There's a solution. You just gotta... <laughs> uh, Turtle, I love you. You make this campaign, like, so funny. <laughs> <laughs> you and Magnolia, Aiden. I just like that, like, Magnolia's been kidnapped. I'm dying over here. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Alright, Turtle. Wait, what's your plan? What's the mega big brain plan you got going on? <laughs> I'm gonna try and sneak past them. <laughs> Turtle, I would, I, I, like, as much as, like, I would love to allow that. <laughs> there is almost no way to sneak past these guys because the door is significantly smaller than them, so you'd have to bump into them. <laughs> oh <my. 
I don't know whether to laugh or cry at this point. I'm either fucked or he's it's it's a right laugh watching this happen. I'm not sure what the guards are thinking. Like, dude, what the fuck is this turtle doing? Like he tries to sneak past. Like he walks, like he's side shuffling, like he's a crab walk. Like, hey, we see you, and he's like, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't oh, right, uh, I'll move off to the side and I'll use my, my uh, crab ring to like scope out the area, see if there's any way past them. As far as you can tell, there's only one door. <laughs> can I use the familiar to like sneak under the door? No, the door goes all the way through the bottom. It actually has wheels that allow it to roll. So we can stay almost like ninety five percent on the bottom of the floor. Oh my god. Okay, can I use the five percent to slide through then? No. Because <laughs> that's where the uh, uh ball bearings that move the door. So you'd hit them. If only if I knew gas form I could just slip through. Gas is form you need a crack. Uh you could get oh. through where the door is. <laughs> but I don't know that. Carol, would you like to phone a friend? <laughs> yes, please, but I don't know sending or message. <laughs> I was I was saying like DM wise. Oh my god, I'm dying. I'm oh, dying so yes, hard. Definitely. <laughs> hey, you know <laughs> I know it's funny. Who's an actual, like, person that would be concerned if Magnolia was forced into someone else's slavery? Go! <laughs> Go get me. the death knight! <laughs> oh, my oh my god, me! <laughs> me! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this fucking guy. <laughs> I'm just running into a wall for like 10 minutes being like, I can't find a way past them. Why it's like, someone useful will be very upset. Yeah, me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Turtle, I gave you the only hit I'm gonna give you. <laughs> this is <laughs> what I was doing. I'm dying so hard. <laughs> oh my god. God, I'm dying. Turtle, you got this. <laughs> Turtle, the, the emotional cheerleaders are supporting you. What happened to your mic cut out? I said the emotional <laughs> cheerleaders are supporting you. Oh, oh my god. I'm fucking crying over here. <laughs> All, right, All right, Turtle, what, what's your plan of action? Hmm. Maybe I could use my tiny hut to sneak my way in, Toy Story style. You, you, you know, you didn't just fucking say that. I'll tell you what you just said. You just said, I will go get the Death Knight, who will help me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Once I, like, find it, it's time to navigate to the <laughs> like They would see you use it. Like, you would what, what be seen It's like Kevin McAllister, Kevin McAllister and fucking Die Hard, dude. Like, holy shit. What is Kevin, Kevin McAllister and Taken? What the hell am I talking about? Jesus. Oh my god, it's so hilarious. I'm end myself. Like, it would literally see you. Such, a, such an easy fruit, and I just fucked it up. Oh my god. Oh my god. Out of all the D&D &D videos, this is, this is the most hilarious bit ever. Hey, Turtle, what's your plan? <laughs> I'll go fetch assistance and try to get find Jericho. Okay, where do you go? Uh, try to remember from memory to go back underground into the into the underground passages. <laughs> you don't have to go too far. You just go into the um opening. Before she stops you in the same spot, she stopped by going. Uh, I wouldn't go any further if I was you, green one. You might lose your. 
Yeah, you might be fine. You're sure. Uh, maybe. You might lose your head. Uh, in that case, I better not. And, like, I take a step back. Now, like, um, what do you want? Uh, you know that person that's, like, indebted to you and it's, like, she's your servant for life or something? My slave. Did she die or no? No, she's been kidnapped and she's about to be someone else's slave, so... What? Yeah. You're kind of... <laughs> looks like you're kind of out of... Like, lost a slave or something. She literally left here, like, five minutes ago. Oh, she's like a dust cloud, like, she just sprinted away. I meant, like, Jericho was saying this. Like, you're telling me in the five minutes, sorry, ten minutes she left this tunnel, she was kidnapped. Yep, that's right. Yep, that that's one hundred percent right. Yes. Only ten minutes have passed. <laughs> that was a really fast ten minutes, apparently. <laughs> Lead the way. All right. Like I actually did play that. We before. slowly make our way back to to the <laughs> serve. To the slave trade. Indentured servants. It's the politically correct version. I mean, it's D it's D and D. So like I don't think they really care too much about what they do. Okay. <laughs> the, the sign says indentured servants is what they want. Uh, okay. Jericho. Actually in Turtle, you know is Etrigan. Only Joe knows her real name. Oh yeah, I just I was just like rummaging through my notes and like I had that written down. Yeah, her name is Atrigan. <laughs> oh. Um so this is the place. Yeah, that's right. I saw them take her into there. And uh, apparently you needed some sort of password and it's not salami. What what password would be salami? A secret jelly recipe? Is this a deli? No. Okay, I'm glad that we have put the, the facts to rest. <laughs> the password is on the night sky. A letter through. So, do you know which way they, they went? They took her in here? Um, no, I just made it as far as the entrance before I got stuck. Outside. Alright, Turtle, you're gonna wander around and I'm gonna split up. While those two are looking, hey, Aiden, how's pool fun time? Ah. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I'm, uh, oh, we're vibing. Man. We're all having a good old time while, tw <laughs> while fucking Turtle is negotiating a hostage negotiation. <laughs> Just, uh, chilling here. Um,. So, what's uh, what's what's up with the tattoos? By the way, oh wait, no, you were. I thought. What do you mean? You've seen them before, except probably the ones on my chest, my ass, and my inner thighs. Those are probably the ones you haven't seen. Ah, so uh, oh wait, that was so she did give us the rundown on it then, right? Yeah. Yeah, it was like oh, never mind. Never mind. Like, them. Trying to make you, could ask, you could ask for the ones on their chest if you want to be a fudging right. perverted cat. <laughs> I'm not gonna yeah, that yeah do it right in front of the satyr. <laughs> so I got man, I got like twelve hours left. Maybe we can negotiate some leeway. Um I just gonna sit back and uh would, would I be able to smoke in here or would the steam fuck up the lighting? I mean, you could smoke, since technically it's outside. Like, these things are outside, and they have people who, like, scoop out the cold water and pour in hot water every now and again. Oh, that's really good, then. Yeah, I'll, I'll light up a little bit. 
I'll take a, I'll take a drag. So, uh... You gonna finish cleaning the blood off you? Asterix S. Uh, sure, I think I will. Uh, unless someone wants to help me here with this, of course. Can I roll for charisma on that? With disadvantage since Asterix is kind of weak. What was that? With disadvantage since Asterix is kind of weak. Do that. You, you, you keep you cutting out the, the very lane. The very last oh, word. Sorry, like the last sorry, word. sorry, sorry. That was my bad. My Fuji, uh, PC wanted to sleep more again. Um, so, um, you with disadvantage since uh, Asterix is kind of a little weak from being laid you know, off, impaled. Oh, well, this is an open invite, really. Anyone, at least ones that can understand me, uh, want to help me. Technically, there's only two people that can understand you. Okay, well, either either you, well, unless either one of you two want to help me. Can I I'll roll for charisma? Yeah. Disadvantage? Yeah, uh, you know, I'll say normal ones. Since you're oh, I, I, I did a roll. Either way, I got, like, the lowest would be 22, so... The Satan pushes your head in the water. <laughs> A drowning noise. I, I'm, not, I'm not good at made doing drowning noise. I've never drowned before. The Satan then proceeds to wash you clean, weigh your hair, uh, head up occasionally. This is... I'm almost afraid to say this is hot. <laughs> I think we could do this again sometime. She wings. <laughs> Well, I mean, less with the less drowning part, but more, you know, the rest of that's fine. There you go. Clean. Hey, nice. So, uh, I, I, I'll just wait. So, are we like sitting on so sitting somewhere? Or are we just sitting in water? Um, so, since it's uh, designed for you to sit and not really swim, there's like a uh, brick, um, layered ups. Little seats, you know, like those. Um, if you go to like um the Y or like other gyms, there'll be like a hot tub that has like seats built around it. On the oh, okay, room. I get it, I get it. So you would be sitting down. I'll just sit back then. Uh, and um, and you had the whole time thinking about like Wild Turtle was trying to uh, I, assault I'm Fort Knox. I'm <laughs> too focused on like trying to guide Turtle to stop to not like get. Like, <laughs> I don't want it to be like the Iran mi missile crisis or whatever. <laughs> I, want to, I want to be like the, the, the hostages. It was though. Oh, um, uh, so so Stephanie, what have like you been up to by the way? Because I was gone for a decent while. Like, am I getting into anything or what's going on with you? They stole from some people. Don't worry about it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. who'd you steal from? Yeah, I know what in particular. Good for you. Good for you, I guess. I, I guess your god is cool with that. I don't know. Hey. The god of chaos believes anything can happen. I got it. You, you got a problem with that? I oh, see, we got a chaos. I mean, I believe Zargothrax is fine with anything. Okay. I dig it. I dig it. I, I fucking I'm just, just drop one of my... Oh, there it is. It's dropping D12. Alright. Who or what is a Zargothrax? Zargothrax is a god. He's a deity. He's a deity? He's a trickster deity. Got a problem? It's got a chaos? I don't know. I you, dude. I never heard of it. Oh, it's because it's unique to her character! You're, you're gonna go to real life hell for outing Zargatha. <laughs> Turtles like going to life, right? Zargatha. Zargatha. Alright. So, hey, I'm gonna give you more time to think because I kind of want to be like, alright. So, turtle, roll d20. I want to see if you are the death knight. Oh, no. Mm. Mm. Eleven. Turtle, you stumble into a room 
where you see three people uh, holding a tie magnolia up to a chair. And they just look at you as you clap face first into this room. Oh, piss. <laughs> Ouch. This is definitely not the way to the restroom. Wait, damn question real quick. I'm still out cold, right? Yeah, you got knocked the fuck out. Okay, then. You got, like, Agent 47 choked out. Oh, shit, that is hard shit right there. Can I help you? One of the men asked. Actually, I'm here for that person you're tying up. Do you have 5,000 gold on you? No, I do not. Then get the fuck out. Can you mute? <laughs> 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 Be like casual <laughs> retreat. <laughs> uh, that's how you solve that problem. Just casually <laughs> walk away. <laughs> you know, Tom, what do you do? Fucking <laughs> <laughs> leaves. He runs away. <laughs> what do you do, Tim? So I guess I'll negotiate with them. Okay, the tiefling approaches you. Uh, can you leave, sir? Is there a problem? He comes from outside the room. He's one of the um. No, I wouldn't. He's not a customer. He's one of the workers, and he's telling you you're in a restricted area. Oh, yeah, it's like a worker guy. Like um, that person you're tying up. They're an acquaintance of mine. It's like I don't want them to become a. An indentured servant. So, Sir, I think you missed the sign on the entrance that said forced indentured servant. So unless you have 5,000 gold, I really, my hands are tied. Alright, the other question. Like, I'm gonna have to fight them, aren't I? You're in. An underground forced indentured servant ring. Do you really think fighting like eight dudes is a smart idea? Probably not. Like, like it's not like you can just yank her unconscious body and run. Well, you still have your compatriot you came in with. I mean, it's like she's still wandering about. It's like, I don't know if she's like, you know, it's like. If she was behind me or not. If you want him up, you could go and find her. Alright, it's like, alright, alright, I'm, I'm going. So, like, I exit the door. And try to look for her. Mm, you see her, she, she sticks out like a sore thumb. She's glowing like the blue flames and stuff. So, she she's not that hard to miss. As you go on the main stage, she was waiting for um, them to present Magnolia to be sold. Alright, so like I go to her and I say, I found her. She's just in that room over there. And I point to the room that I was previously in. Do you mind if I throw you out the door and break the door in? Uh, let me retract first, then, then do it. Yeah, I was, I'm fucking with you. Our best bet is to wait until they tire her up. And then cause maybe a small fire. And set this place ablaze. Wait, your mic cut out. Do you say cause a small fire? Yes. A small fire. It would get people. People would panic. This place would be evacuated. And who would know if one person just... Casually disappeared. I mean, unless they have a manifest or some sort of list or something. Let's uh, just say we'll chalk that small fire up to a large fire. 
Hmm. Well, I do know a bit of pyromancy, but nothing that'll start a big blaze. He just looks at you, a beam kind of emanating fire. I, I think you missed the part where I um can kind of control fire. Oh, right. Here's what I need you to do. Can you do this for me? Actually, two things. One, make sure your fucking dumb friend doesn't make me do shit like this again. Oh, my fucking god. I gotta figure out how to change this suit thing. Um, make sure your friend doesn't do this shit again. We have to save her. This is like the third time. And for two, can you cause a distraction? Like, you know, to basically just do what you normally do. <laughs> All right. I guess uh, I, I, uh... You might cut out, too. What would you say? Oh, uh, I stole about oh, onto the, I guess, the, the main area. And I cast the, let's see, what's it called? Uh, right, no, it, it is. your life is in turtle's hands, just letting you know. I can see that, and so far it's looking bleak. <laughs> Alright, go and cast Warding Wind. What does that do exactly, turtle? It just, like, causes, like, a big wind around me. Okay. Do you, like, make a commotion, or do you just call, have the wind just stroll around you? No, it's like a strong wind. It's like 20 miles per hour. It's like within like uh, 10 feet of me. It's like it's like deafening. It's like not like constantly. Um, to the three people that have been tying Magnolia are sent to go deal with you. They have some items that dispel magic and they carry you outside, Charlie. You basically get thrown on your back outside. And oh, stay okay. out. Uh, I guess I like roll around, struggling to get. They back throw out. you out. You see a massive fire coming from the building. Oh, well, I guess that worked. I guess. I hope she gets the magnolia out in time. Um, twenty minutes pass. And turtle, what do you do? You just sit. I'm... Do you like lay on your back still? <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm still on my back. I have to roll back up. Like, do I have to roll dex or strength or what? Oh, no, you can do it. You just roll back oh, up. Okay. I just roll back up onto my onto my feet again. Is that all you do okay. for twenty minutes? <laughs> okay, it's been twenty minutes now. I should probably try and do something to. Put that out. Uh, let me see. Let me go through my spells. I'll cast a snowball swarm on, onto the... Uh, a metallic gauntlet grabs your shell and picks you up. Hey, what's this? I just imagine, like, um... What's that? Like, when a parent picks up their child and they clearly don't want to be picked up... <laughs> They're like just flailing around. Oh, so like an angry cat getting picked up by the back of the neck? It's like, yeah. 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 <laughs> Relax. It's only me. I got hey, you, friend. Can you switch to Aiden real quick? I'll be right back. Okay. Yeah. Hey, Aiden. How's not sexing yet? Um, I oh, kind of so. like, I'm trying to think how I want to move this into sexing. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe ask. Um, ask her like, "Hey, do you want to help wash up or something?" I tried that turtle. It was a no go. The plan failed. Oh, <laughs> like uh, oh no, help dry her off or something. Well, I think this that's, was that's fun. Bad. That's the opposite of what I wanted. But <laughs> Asterix stands up. All right, well, this is fun. You guys got like. Uh, the rest of the night, I'll tell them that you guys can stay. 
Uh, okay. Let's see. Uh, Asterix dips out. Oh, yeah. You probably should have stayed the translate for the orc. Uh, you, could get so, her if, you could get her before you, she leaves this squad. Like, Asterix? What? What? Also, what uh, is there? We can communicate with this orc in here. Do you know? I mean, I can. Yeah, just stay then. Stay then. Stay then, because it's gonna be awkward being like you know, having one person that we can't communicate with. I mean, I could just take the orc with me. Ah, more the merrier. I just think you want to fuck the orc. I think that's the only reason why you want to communicate. I mean, I'm not going to say no, but I also don't know if it's that allowed. You what? Stephanie elbows you in the stomach. I was about to ask, is that allowed? <laughs> you still have one day. You literally have until tomorrow and you're already <laughs> trying to. See, this is why. I'm this... just saying. Hey. This, I'm I'm trying to include you in here though. I was like, hey, if she if she'd be cool with it, if you'd be cool with it. No. Okay. All right. Yeah. I mean, if or if Orc doesn't mind, then sure. All right. Ash just in York dips out. So uh, just me and you. Uh, Are you not in the mood now? <laughs> I was like, ah, you you in the mood for it or? I mean, you killed the mood like five minutes ago. I I I, I wrote for Christmas like, come <laughs> Like what? Are you, what like, are you? Come what are you? The Fonz? Come on! <laughs> I, I bust up my jacket. I put two thumbs like, hey, come on! Hey, come on! Hey, that was... hey, nineteen, hey. <laughs> Just imagine the seas like, e, come on, you know. I was like, yo, e. So what you got? Yeah, yeah nineteen. 19. <laughs> I saw it. <laughs> Fine. Maybe a little bit. Well, you should know by now. What when, when it comes to uh, actually, you know what. I, yeah, I'm not even. I'm not even try to make a joke out of that one. Like I, I was not good enough. I, I was. Oh damn it! I was trying to. Th I was rack my brain. I was like, how can we make a joke about my dick not being small? And I'm like, you know what? Maybe we don't need to make a joke about that. So what's the plan here? Um. What's your list of objectives besides try to have sex? Um, probably have sex, but to be honest, I, I, I always don't expect myself to get this far, so when it comes down to it, I don't know, just maybe, maybe you know, what, what are you into? What, what are you feeling like? You the, she hands you, um, a bag. I look in the bag. It is 2,000 gold. Listen, Stephanie, I am not a whore. You didn't charge for the first time, so I pretty much figured you weren't a whore. But if you don't want it, I'll take it back. Hey, well, okay, listen, but why, why would you give me so much money? I appreciate it. Why would you give me so much money? Joke aside. <laughs> no, it's too late now. Take I know. Wait, wait, wait. I'm, I'm, not, I'm curious why we would give me so much gold. No reason, except maybe one. Don't worry about that reason. What is the reason? I, I, can I roll for persuasion? Be like, what is the reason? Sure, go ahead. <laughs> like how Aiden was like, here's candy. He's like, yeah, you know what? I'm not a whore. And then she's like, all right, I'll take that. He's like, hey, wait a second. I actually. I'm like, won. I said that joke. And that was a joke. I, I score 23, I'm like, why? What is the reason? Um, you might be a parent, but it's not that special. I don't think this is how child support works. <laughs> and they don't also, know what child support, they don't know what that is, Aiden. It doesn't exist. 
<laughs> Traverse child support. <laughs> and raising a kid in the medieval age is it was a bitch to do. <laughs> to pay the wrong person. <laughs> Not child other... support. It's a child fee. If you think about this, I'm gonna use it back real quick. Okay. Because that's like I, I already kind, I already kind of got foreshadowing about this. I guess this confirms it. <laughs> Morgana roughly told me what was going on. Turtle, what's your strategy? I mean, we have more, uh, we have, uh, Magnolia, so I'm just thinking, like, we just book it out of there. Well, I, oh, you have, or you, I guess you can dip then, perhaps. Hopefully you can run. I mean, like, all he said was, like, the building was on fire. He didn't say, like, they were, like, commotion. Gotta go skinhead, you gotta dip the fuck out of there. <laughs> yeah. Too bad I don't know invisibility yet. You're good. You got this. Keep your wits about you. Be, be yeah. a smart man. Be a smart guy. Yeah, plus Ashley's already out of the tub, so she might be able to help us. Oh, yeah. Maybe. Right, you what's the probably... situation we've arrived on? Huh? Um, so I'm not entirely surprised because Morgana did foreshadow some of this was going to happen. So, um, where does that leave us? What do you mean? I mean, you've got my kid. Like, I never said it was me. I just said you might be a pain. Okay, well, that's a it's a fifty percent chance that it's you. More like twenty five. What do you mean twenty five? It did fuck goblin at the start of the oh game. My God. <laughs> <laughs> a couple is hard in the picture, all right. There might be one goblin bastard running amok, but I don't know about him. <laughs> Stabbed in the back, probably like his own son. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about if I ever go on a genocide. I gotta worry about my own fucking blood in the way. <laughs> I personally, I personally described the plot of Invincible, didn't I? Jeez. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Will I continue. Well, what is it about you? Well, I mean, I think it's pretty pog. I think it's pretty based. I think it's pretty pog. I don't know what any of those mean. It means it's good. I, I, it means I like it. It's not bad. I give two thumbs up. Pretty cool. Two thumbs up? I don't know. I think that's how you describe parenthood. I, yes, I hear parenthood and I'm like pog. <laughs> But yeah, that's that's cool. Uh, that, that's it's nice. But the the, the thing is, that what what she, does anything change here? Then I haven't thought about that yet. Okay, now you press the picture. We get there. Whatever. Wait, are you allowed to be in here? I thought that when you had a kid, you're not supposed to be in like you know a hot tub and stuff. I thought jacuzzis were harmful. It's not that far along. Okay, we're good then. We're fine. I'm trying to make sure I I'm gonna name the kid Deformo when he comes out or something. You know, I want to be able to not have him not have little soft spots on his brain, so he's a little clay boy. What's that? This is gonna be smooth brain. It's gonna be very smooth. Well, either way, it's gonna be smooth brain because it's coming from me, but especially smooth brain. <laughs> It's like a polished rock in there. <laughs> Give me a second to process that. It took me a second. Oh my god. Oh, no. like, <laughs> but when I asked her, I'm like, well, in that case, why are you giving me 2,000 gold? Well, I was giving you 2,000 
Why were you giving me 2,000 gold? Because I might need someone to, you know, put it in a bank because I can't put things in a bank because technically I'm wanted for high treason. Something along those lines. Okay, okay, we'll find. We'll take. I, I will. I will. Can put the money in the bank for you. Don't worry. We'll we'll make that happen. We'll put it in the the bag with the talisman on it, so it doesn't get stolen. And uh, we're gonna, we're gonna see a nice nice high interest bank. Very good. Well, it's not anymore. I'm gonna give it to someone else. Why? Who else are you gonna give it to? Uh, my friend Lillian. I think oh, Jessica that could use that. Well, first of all, either way, it was going to be for you, because I, it would be an account that I had access to, but it ultimately was going to be for your the betterment of you. I mean, when you, someone scoffs at $200, I think I, they don't deserve $2,000. I don't think they deserve to hold it. I did not scoff at it. I simply thought that you you were trying to offer me money for sexual favors when you know full well that I will simply do it for free. Yeah, that's true. Hmm? I said that's true. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to keep this now. Well, you can keep that. But for the record, you should probably have your Leona friend put that in a bank, though. Anyway... You're broke again, aren't you? I'm not broke again. I've got I've got six hundred and ninety one gold, which don't get me wrong compared to two thousand. Not a lot. But it's a decent amount. And that beholder thing that we killed, that thing was loaded, man. They were paying that thing top dollar to chill in that dungeon. So I actually made you this. She oh. hands you uh Demonic dagger with a giant eye on the middle of it. By oh. The oh, this is fucking nice. What is it? It's an abyssal dagger that cannot tear through any shield and any armor. It has 50% penetration on it. Oh. Oh. So you, you have advantage on every side for an attack. Ah, I like you. I like you a lot. Oh, also, if the eye opens, don't listen to any of its commands. Well, what if it tells me to do uh, gross but sexy things? It will probably tell you to murder all your friends. It's like the, mo the most thing it will probably tell me to do. See what you said. You said you made me this. Why did you add on the dagger? that's gonna tell to add on the eye that was gonna tell me to kill people. I mean, do you know how how else are you gonna make a dagger that can poke through people's? Uh, There's yeah, not I, too I, many con conventional means that allow uh, that. That is a good point. I do not know my. I don't know a better method, so I'm gonna have to agree with you on that one. Then that's fine. So, uh, back to the matter at hand, though. We I don't want to talk about it. No. No! Hey, come on! I gotta do the Fonz thing again! <laughs> no, I have a child. I gotta think about the child. First of all, well, you know I'm not small. You know I'm not that big to, you know, be an issue. I mean... It's not about your size, it's more about the fact I am significantly shorter than you. Good point. So, hey, you think you think about this, we're gonna get to the, the turtle magnolia thing. Natasha, you back? I just got back a second ago. Aw, oh, dude, okay. I have a peckable fucking timing. Yeah, you do. Six cents. <laughs> it's that DM sense kicking in. All right. I'm still waiting Natasha, for my dogs you, to come you, in, so you, I was like, oh, I gotta keep watch. Natasha, you wake up being in the arms of the Death Knight while she's holding Turtle. Has the building in front of you is currently in blue flames. What? 
the fuck did just happen? You owe me three know, times now. <laughs> what do I even owe you? I, I, uh, what the, uh, turtle, what happened? We came to rescue you. <laughs> Re rescue me? What the fuck even happened? Oh, it was really fun. I got to set a building on fire. You, oh, he you, killed like eight people. That was also fun. You had your fun. Now, what the fuck happened? And why oh, did my head hurt? Oh, you were knocked out, kidnapped by slave traders. Sorry. The politically term they like to use is forced indentured servants. And basically, you're going to be sold and basically have the thing we had where you basically kind of do whatever I said. However, you get whipped if you don't do what they said. So, no different than the current situation I'm in right now. Yeah, however, you wouldn't be able to travel with your friends. You'd have no free will, none of your stuff. Oh, and you'd be stripped of all your magical properties. I already am stripped of everything. I only have my clothes. I mean, I could strip you of those right now if you want. Do it! Do it! <laughs> I don't need you! you. Turtle bust out the camcorder! <laughs> You you're the other, you're you're the reason I lost my shirt the last time. I mean you pissed me off and then I told you you'd be my seat. Uh again I didn't mind that, but losing my shirt kinda left me hanging a bit. Uh switch back real quick, I will be right back. Hey Aiden. How's the how's the convincing of trying to have sex with the Seda going? Like, uh... Those are good points. But if you were really good, wouldn't it? Carol for persuasion off that. Disadvantage. I don't need advantage. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Ten. Maybe just the thigh job. I'll take it. Right, that happens. I would say... You know what, Aiden? You're going to be further along in the timeline now since the time she left. Okay. Unless you want to say it takes five minutes, but... <laughs> well, like eight and a half minutes, that's a solid average. Yeah. So it takes eight minutes. What do you do? What is your next plan? Me? Yeah. Uh, probably, probably another one. <laughs> I didn't say we just stopped at one. You can put me forward in the timeline. I'm saying just imply it's happened numerous times. <laughs> okay, two hours have passed. Um, Stephanie is lost because she had um, important business to do. And I'll say for argument's sake, you left the springs of your own accord. Uh, now you're alone. All right. I do not envy any worker to clean that shit up. Uh, anyways, I, uh, would, 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 even if I walk past that, but why, damn, what should I do? It's, what time is it in game? It would be like 2 a.m. 2 a.m. Very tired. Okay, you know what? I think I'm going to. You hear oh. a bunch of spiders coming from behind you. Oh. Oh, I specifically, I, I make that shit noise, and I'm like, I look around, I, I turn behind me. Magana starts forming from the spiders. Like, okay, hello, you know, you could announce yourself maybe a little better. The spiders thing's a little fucking spooky after I had to fend off an army of spider people. The one, I was the spider person way before. For two... The, you're trying, you're on the mission to save this reality as we know it, and I find you kind of having sex with a satyr. Yes. Do you know how words came to describe disappointment? <laughs> I mean, if like this is a surprise to you at this point, I think it's a little bit on you, to be honest. I mean, that's kind of funny. 
I should have expected this from your kind specifically. Very racist, but kind of applicable here, so I guess I'll let it slide. I mean, it's applicable with 98% of tobacco. Whoa, whoa, like chill with the race statistics, man. <laughs> God. <laughs> I mean, I can literally point to several times your race has gotten in trouble for that. Oh man, you know, I, I'm gonna say I mean, I think that's a little, uh, a little ignorant of you to say. Um, but you I, want I, me I, to turn you into a toad? I, I, I don't want you to. I'm just saying it's a little. I don't know. It's a little messed up you to say. You know, <laughs> like shit, man. If you think. I, the witch of the waste, uh, can all um, and pure at heart. You have a rude awakening. I I think we're all well aware you are not pure at heart. Don't worry, I never made that accusation. Pear and apple? No, that's an old joke. <laughs> um, so I'm basically here to make sure you don't get robbed or stabbed or die in the street. Well, the last two are very possible that it might happen, but thankfully I did get a talisman from the uh, the the satyr, the, the Stephanie. So I, I think I'll probably be good now as far as thieves specifically go. Uh, so where's you? Where's the former board toy turtle gone? Uh, I saw him like earlier. You don't know they've had sex. Your character has never known that. Uh, I, th I thought there was always the implication there, but never mind. <laughs> no, there was a slight hint at it, but Morgana's plainly denied it. Okay. Well, anyways, though, where's, uh, I mean, check. Would it make sense to call him her simp, then? I mean, yeah. I don't know where the fuck's that turtle guy. What, what's he up to? I saw him earlier today, and I always get a little nervous when I see him or Magnolia on their own doing I stuff. Not play, uh, Summons her crystal ball and she shows you the events of what happened with Turtle trying to save Magnolia for 30 minutes. Okay, that's uh, that's about as well as I expected it to go. You expected this from him? Uh, what? Him to... Try desperately to break into somewhere and fail? Yeah, I, I figured it wouldn't go too well. The guy's just not built for it, you know? Too, too horizontal, no offense to him. Too wide. And what do you think you could have done, man? Me? I don't know. Maybe talk my way in. Maybe. I would have seen that. I, I don't actually that. have anything that turns me invisible. I should probably get something like that. That would help me. I mean, you could take off the talisman and put it on your arm and make your body invisible. Make my arm disappear. The talisman does not work. Then he's about to like cave me down with a mask. Like, oh, 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 my apology. I didn't realize you were handicapped. Please move on. <laughs> <laughs> I lost my hand in the war. You wouldn't hit an enemy with no arm, would you? <laughs> Just steals my shit and runs off. Uh, but yeah, no, uh, so how are they doing now? I don't know, let's jump back in two hours to see what happens. Hey, so, uh, at Trigindra, it's both Turtle and Morgana on the ground. Morgana, what the hell are you saying? Uh, Magnolia, sorry. <laughs> you guys have both the same three letters. And I was yeah. writing notes down. Actually, we <laughs> don't. Hers is Morgana, oh, yeah. mine's Magnolia. Yeah, but it's like pretty similar. It's, it's pretty close. close. It's pretty fucking similar. Oh, wow. Um, but, um, so what do you say? You too. Well, my last thing was interrupted because I had to go get my dogs. She dropped both of you. I mean, what happened now after she drops both of you? Okay, uh, let's see. We evacuate and, like, go, go into hiding. Uh, I swear, the craziest shit always ends up happening. I was just waiting for Turtle to show up at the inn. 
and then this happens. I can't believe you were so incompetent of walking down the street for 10 minutes. You got kidnapped. To be fair, I was on my way to the bar. Then I went right back and came this way because I was checking on Asterix and she seemed okay-ish from the way she was acting. You still were gone for 10 minutes. I get that. Uh, hang on, I gotta be right back again. Ugh. Aiden, let's ditch that part where you ask what they're doing. Well, uh, uh, two hours ahead, anyways. So, did you come out here just to scorn me, or just to scold me? I should say. Love a, love b. Okay. Well, anyways, though, uh, I think. Oh wait, shit. Wait. Oh, Stephanie just wandered off, didn't she? She had. She had an important uh, thing to do. Okay. Well, in that case, uh, probably should go hit up. Uh, my other a good good friend uh, and see how they're doing because I haven't gone for a little bit. Also, we did just break out of her store instead of into it, so uh, probably good to explain what happened there. Uh, you mean that goblin who totally is not trying to stab you in the back? I don't care for your mind games. Don't care much for your mind games. All I'm gonna say. I mean, you trust me, don't you? I do trust you, but I don't know. I don't know if you Do know. you generally trust me, or do you actually just trust me out of fear of the fact that could kill you in a second? I, you're fuck, I'm going to go with your catchphrase, which is a little column A, a little column B. <laughs> Alright, let's skip the bullshit. Okay. I could rip your heart out in two seconds. I could yes, just I open a portal. And you. So do you genuinely trust me? Or do you trust me out of fear? Uh, sorry. I, so if, anything, I... Now I if anything, now I trust you more out of fear. Because, yeah, I'm well aware you can do that. My point, the, the thing is... I don't know. Either I way, know. I'm going to go pay her a visit. Okay. I'll leave you to it. Oh, also give her this. Don't open it. But just give her this. What is it? She hands you a bag. It's tied I'm, up. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna hand off a potential bomb to her unless. Hey, listen. Listen. Yes. Silver. If it was a bomb, I wouldn't need you to deliver it. Why? Why do you need me to tell, deliver it then? It's something important from her for her. I, I want to roll persuasion. I'm like, I'm not going to deliver it unless you tell me. What with, di with disadvantage and persuasion checks. Actually, wait, no. You can't. She's a, she's a fail. You can't persuade her. Never mind, then. Um, like, fuck. Fine. Okay, Natasha, back to you guys. Ugh, sorry. Alright. Anyway. What were you guys talking? I completely forgot. Right, anyway, uh, Jer uh, about... that you can walk somebody. <laughs> Wait, what? You went into hiding at the end? Nope, she just walks away. I can't believe this whole shit. Alright, now we just have to make it back to the end very carefully. Off of your roll, D20. <laughs> uh, oh, no. I'm sorry. I have to keep switching. My dog's acting up. It's fine. Just roll your things. All right, Aiden. Where do you go? I'm going over to Leora's house. Oh, the door is locked. I knock on the door. There's no answer. I knock a little harder on the door. A small tapping around your thigh um, mm -hmm. comes from uh, someone taps your thigh from behind. I look behind me and down. It's Leora. Hey, there you are. Where you been? Hey, you broke into my shop. 
Okay, yeah. Uh, I Well, actually, when you think about it, we broke out of your shop. Um, that's a conversation you let's have inside because there's a lot of questions that come with that. We all walk in and shuts the door behind her. Does it let me in? No, nope, she doesn't let you in. And Magda, I'm like, please. <laughs> Don't answer. And I can do her again. Please. Like, give her the cat eyes and go. <laughs> <laughs> I roll for charisma and do that. <laughs> give her the puss and yeah. ghost eyes. <laughs> yeah, you can do that. I don't know if Tabaxi can do that in game, but you can attempt. Oh, to I, ro I roll a seven. It was kind of weird, a little bit creepy, because I'm like fucking eight foot one when I did it. <laughs> Back yet, I'm like, what? What do you even want? I, 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 first of all, I want to talk. Apologize for the you know lock being broken and all that. And second of all, I do kind of just want to know what's going on. If I told you, to have to stab you. Okay, well, okay. I think it's important that, you know, there's some level of transparency here, you know. I mean... We have not been transparent about anything since we met. Me? I have been very... I think I've been pretty transparent about most stuff that's oh, been going on. you grew up in. Huh? Oh, that? Yeah. I don't even know where you grew up, or I don't know anything apart from the fact you fucked a goblin before you came to the village. Well, you know, I, I don't know, you didn't ask very much, I guess? It's because I didn't want to know. Well, now do you want to know? No, because then well, I would have to tell you something about my past. Well, then why are you complaining about it? I know you're not a fan of your own past, so I figure I didn't want to bring mine up, because, you know... What if mine you thought was better? I don't want to rub it in your face or something. Um, but if, no, if, if, if someone if someone kids dies, am I gonna be like, man, my son's super smart, man, always staying in school, being alive, like you know? If I told, if I answered your questions, you would bring up my past. I that might be part of the question. Can I just apologize for the last 20 minutes of not You're being fine. able to do a damn thing? You're fine. Don't worry. We're used to it. That's not funny. <laughs> the one dramatic thing I get, and I fuck it up because my dog likes to be a shit. You're fine. <laughs> All right. What's, I'll give you one question you can ask, and I'm not going to, and I'll re retain the right to not answer it. Can I come inside? Sure. Okay, all right. She opens the door. Oh, go on then, then. And did you also, you, you grabbed, oh, wait, no. I, I was writing something else down. Those are previous notes. All right, you go inside. None of the furniture and none of the stuff on the shelves are there anymore. What's that? Moving from here, Toe? I said one question. Come on, that one wasn't even a big question. That that was just the I'm in here, so let's just talk question. I said one question. Okay, well, I'll assume in that case you're sneaking off somewhere else. But you to you. I, uh, wait, is there any furniture in there at all? No. So, uh. Almost how the house has been vacant for a while. It's been vacant for a while. Wait, what? Yeah, if you take all the furniture off, dust collects in like really quick. And since you've technically been oh, gone for like God. three days, yes. dust would have built up a lot. So, you haven't been here in a while, have you? Not really. I just forgot a few things. Where are you off to now? I said one question. Come on, for me. 
Come on, what? Come on, like, why, why would you want to tell me? Because it would dig up some sore wounds of mine. So you can't even tell me where you're off to because of something about your past. Something like that. And if I want to come hang out and talk or something? Listen, I don't know if us is going to work. What makes you say that? Because um, I know what you did and what you were looking for down there. What are you implying? I'm implying you're on the wrong side. What makes you think you're on the right side? That's a good point. Whose side are you on? Again, I said one question. I think we're past. Just, I kind of roll for charisma. Just back. I think we're past the whole one question limit. Yeah, you can roll for charisma. Or, or, or what I roll persuasion. Roll for charisma. Or roll persuasion. You could try to use either or in this situation. Okay, I roll persuasion. Thirteen. Ah, oh, shit. Can't get past her defenses. You know, I would have thought, you know, our relationship being what it was, that, you know, there'd be a little bit more of trust there. Don't get me wrong, it's not like I want to do this. It's just... Then don't. <laughs> Real simple, just don't. It's like someone on like a tape. If you don't want to do it, just don't do it. Just don't do it. <laughs> just say no. I've missed so much that this sounds just this is, where this is going. Just sounds weird. I, it's not normal, but I wouldn't say it's that weird. There's weird things we've done. Listen, all right. If I stay here and stay with you, the fuck currently. That currently employ me might have me, you know, kill you. Who are you employed by? I get. I cannot answer that. You know, I, I would tell you if there was another way around. I know, but if it was the other way around, you would know. If I told you, I would then have to kill you, and I really am trying not to kill you. So what? You just disappear from me now? I don't know yet. She starts packing up more things in a box. <clears throat> Why did you even care? We've been over this before. You know I care about you. I think you'll be fine without me. How about you trust me? Can you do that? Someone that uh, won't answer a single one of my questions, I think that's a pretty big question I ask. Trust me. You're the second different person who asked me that question in the past 24 hours. And I still just don't know how the fuck to respond to it. <laughs> it's like, everyone's always asking me if, they can, if I can trust them. Like, what the fuck, man? Was this some kind of video game thing? <laughs> and by the way, uh, I guess while I'm here, I, I do have a question, which is, uh, is that nullifier a business deal, or? No, it's still on. I finished it. Oh. Mind if I take a look at it? She hands you it, and it's, um, it's a small mechanical box with gears, um, a lot of gears inside it. And several um, different metal strips inside with nubs. 
How's it work? It's a crank. She attaches a crank into the side of the box, and it starts playing some of the music from that you were playing in the bar. Excellent work. Okay, you guys, I'm just going to go because my dog's acting up again. Okay. Just recap right. everything tomorrow right. or next 